I'm doing the electrical box in Nadine's van. This is the uh, mattress, short wheelbase passenger mattress, solo traveler. Um, this is where we put all of our physical plant. We've got two batteries in this van, two 320 amps together for 640 amps, internal BMS with heat pads. Uh, it's all the other same accoutrement. We've got our Orion 30 amp charger while you're driving. You've got some solar on the roof, and then we have a nice short power connection of 30 amps. Uh, but what I'm doing now, we've got shutoffs, we've got breakers, we've got all of these components that have to make nice together in an extremely compact area. And what I'm doing as I work is I need to make sure that as I make my wire runs, that you see what I just did and how easy that was? To drop this panel, if I had to replace or repair any of these, if the switch failed or the breaker failed, it's that easy. You're gonna take a couple of screws out and this thing will tip down and you've got full access in there. Can you see that? Yeah. Down here in the back of this galley, it's a passenger van and it has power sliding doors. This is one of the pulleys and motors. There's some harnesses, some fuses. Mercedes has to get at that stuff. So in designing our galley, we put in, we needed this support to carry across the wheel well and hit the other side. That's what gives us our strength in our galleys. But we couldn't just go from pillar to pillar because this is in the way and we had to leave them room to work. So how simple, how elegant a design. We just put an extension on this rail and we left it adjustable. We can pull it out. The, the Mercedes guy could take this right out if he wanted to, give him more room to work on these components. God forbid that day should ever come. I've been getting some comments, not too many, but enough that I've noticed. Some people are expressing concern sleeping over all of this stuff. Batteries, inverters, all these wires and all these magnetic fields. Everything is shielded and insulated. There are no issues here, but to make you feel better, what we're going to do now moving forward in the mini me's and the midi me's, we're going to put a sheet of steel on the back side of the bed that reclines up and down. We'll put a sheet of steel back there and we're gonna ground it. And we can even ventilate that steel to a certain degree. Um, and that will protect you from any of these uh, electromagnetic fields that you're worried about. That'll just block it all because of that steel plate, steel sheet, and we're gonna ground it to the chassis. So that should make you feel a little better. Uh, I mentioned all of these minis and midis. Let me take you on a little tour and show you what's going on with the rest of these vans. This, these metrics are great. Big galleys. This is the passenger version. So it's got windows all around. We dropped the headliner because we still have to support that big air conditioner up there. Uh, but they're coming along. What we're actually doing is we are working all four of these mini and middies. At the same time, we're doing the four large vans on the other side. Yep, believe it or not, three of us, uh, four of us rather, because we got Bob working with us now, four of us are working on eight vans. So this is the other midi me. This belongs to Carol. Carol picked a brand new floor that just became available. I love it. I'm also going to present this floor to uh, Debbie and John from she to me, because I think this would go really well with their um, laminate. They got white chocolate laminate in their van. But back to this is the mattress. This is the long wheelbase mattress. We're leaving this whole back area open as a garage and we'll let Carol use it and tell us what she needs back there. We don't know what she's gonna carry and travel with and I don't think she knows either. But back here now, look at this, look at this galley. It's over six feet long. We've got our sink, two water tanks, obviously fresh and gray. Then back here, we're gonna put in a big dresser, clothing drawers, 
and our water heater will go right here on the end. This van is getting a really cool Connor TV console, similar to what Pleasure Way does in their vans. They put that corner triangular television cabinet and she can watch that from the bed. And she's also got two reclining positions, front and back, uh, which means we'll put her toilet, we'll store her toilet in the middle. So it's actually the furthest away from either head, uh, depending on where she sleeps. So the panels, all the wall panels have been printed on the CNC. The ceiling panels have been printed. We just have to tighten up the wiring and wrap those panels. Then we come down to Becky. Becky and Joan, Becky and Jean rather, are the two mini me's. These are exactly the same except for the floors. Becky has cherry. You can see her countertop is done already. Cherry with the cherry linen floor, beautiful floor. And we have the gray tanks on the outside of the galley now. And we're gonna reconfigure our induction cooker cabinet because we're putting that new hot water heater right there. We're not using that little electric one anymore. And Jean, uh, Cherry, and she's got that beautiful floor we put in so many vans that everybody loves. It's called Black Sheep. It's a marmolium product, high quality product. Uh, but you can see all this 80, 20, I mean, we have been cranking on these four small vans and here's Roxy. We had Roxy all put together and then we took her apart to work on the ceiling. Let me get you in here so you can look at this. I know, I know after a year, how come it looks like this? Well, you're gonna see in a couple of weeks. Uh, but this is the, um, the capsules with the windows and we did a really nice move here. We're taking advantage of this capsule. Look at that nice storage pocket. So this is about an inch or two below the mattress level. And on both sides, you can put your, uh, your bo water bottle, your phones. We're gonna put lighting in there some charging ports, and we just fitted our ceiling. This is a beautiful ceiling. Here's our wall cabinet over their feet, but this is the same type of sailboat ceiling we put in my first van and uh, Dr. Stevens' van. So we use these uh, eighth of an inch, four inch aluminum stretchers that go all the way across. Those are gonna get wrapped. They get wrapped in the um, white vinyl. And uh, now we take those all the way back inside the cabinet and then we'll have a beautiful vinyl piece that comes down. You can see our cabinet start out with a one by two 80, 20 on the wall. And what that allows for is mounting to the chassis and then it leaves this front channel open for the wall to set in. And it also leaves a place to mount these supports, center support is behind the sliders. This cabinet is getting uh, milk glass sliding doors. One big one here, one big one there. So you don't give up any space. You open this entire door to there, wide open, vice versa on that side. And then we've got this uh, galley mocked up. Let me take you around the other side. These, uh, the 8020 is what we've been working on for months, a lot of 80-20. I can't tell you, uh, it's gotta be a couple thousand little fittings, elbows, end caps, all that stuff. So all the, uh, all the drawer glides are in. This whole galley is ready and locked in. This is the one that's got the radiator in the back and the toe kick for convection heat. So now what we are doing, um, we decided that with that beautiful cabinet over their feet, we're gonna continue that sight line into the galley and step it back because we're right over the sink. We don't wanna hit our heads. And then we're gonna put our television right here and that's gonna fold out on an arm to the two front seats. You can see we took out uh, our fridge 
our desk. What we're doing now is we're building the shower. Uh, we're putting laminate on the shower. We actually spline all the pieces together. And another excellent idea that we came up with, I don't know if you can see that, that marker box, uh, Sharpie marker. We're actually gonna cut a sump box into the bottom of all our shower pans. And then we're gonna have a couple of drains that collect into the sump and there's a pedal switch and a pump that'll pump it across to the gray tank. Very nice. Instead of trying to run all those drain wall, drain tubes under the van, we'll just run the one. Very cool. So there's a lot going on. I mean, look at all the 8020. It's crazy. Uh, I am talking to um, uh, Lithionics. I just got word that they're putting out a whole new series of 51 volt batteries. So if I can be convinced that there is a place in a 12 volt world for a 51 volt battery, then I will be switching these vans over to the uh, 51. Let me show you one. I gotta take you into a mirror, hold on. Ah, uh, the stallion. The stallion has got a lot of juju going on because everything just seems to fit into place with this van. As difficult it has been to fit everything in here. This is the shower box, okay? That's a kitchen countertop in the daytime. Here's your battery bridge, a beautiful new refrigerator from Isotherm, right? We've got our dog crates and they are also, I mean, we got all this stuff in place. There's four dog crates, two in the back, two up front that we have yet to put together, but we built the footprint so we know what we're dealing with. We made sure when we designed these crates that the dogs have enough room and comfort to come in and out of those crates on both ends. These rear crates have entrance and exit on both ends and we made sure there was enough room for them. Now, obviously, all of these, uh, there's gonna be panels installed in between all of here. I wish there weren't, uh, but we have to do that. We gotta put panels in there with ventilation. And down here, uh, we have this built out for our 630 amp hour Mama Luke, a 12 volt battery from Lithionics on a beautiful bridge. Battery bridge made out of 15 series to straddle the wheel wells. I think that's a very efficient use of the space over a wheel well. And then we put our pantry refrigerator on top of that. Did a beautiful job designing and executing this cabinetry. This is gonna be our full breaker panel, Panatronics, all our Serbo GX gauges. And then Amir's got two massive cabinets for clothing with a white laminate underbelly. And right back here, yep, right here will be a series of small cubbies on both sides. We're making use of every bit of space. See how we straddle that wheel well. This area is getting a huge freezer chest on drawer glides under the galley. Now let me show you what's going on in the back here. This is pretty exciting. So in the back, as I said, we've got full access. The doors to the crates back here are wide open. We made custom stainless steel trays with a rollover on top so they don't hurt their nails or their feet. We really put a lot of care and concern into working with these dog crates and the dogs living in here. I'm gonna have thermostatically controlled fans, temperature controlled, and that's all going through the uh, Victron Serbo GX, so we maintain temperature and ventilation. Uh, 
Access. Access is the name of the game. On each side of the van, we have access. These are doors that you can just unlatch and open to get at. Over here will be the Victron Multi Plus 2 inverter, 3000 watt inverter. We'll be hanging right there. If you have to service it, you can take the tray out if you like, but you just crawl in there, unlatch and open the door, full access, full access. Same thing over here. There's a little bit of storage space here and look what's back there. I've been waiting a long time. The Aqua Hot. This is a new item that Aqua Hot made. Aqua Hot's made by uh, uh, the mother company. It's the same people that make the Max Air fans. Could that be a problem? Anyway, the Aqua Hot is in the high end uh, Class A motorhomes for years. They finally made a unit, the 125D and the 125G diesel gas. Okay. Here's where we decided to put this baby. We've got a lot of plumbing that's going to go down through the floor. But if you have to access this, you will have to access this to work on it, to do your, your annual maintenance. Look how easy. This is the service cover to this Aqua Hot. Okay. You think about any other van, uh, the way they build things. Our philosophy is always access first, ease of maintenance, ease of repair. The reason being, I've been there. I've told this story a thousand times. I've had motorhomes. I've had Class B vans. I've had boats. In all cases, if you needed to get in to repair something, that item's buried. You, you can't get to it. The inverter's deep inside the galley. You got to pull out all this stuff to get to it. That's not how we build. That's why I even started building, because I wanted to do a better job. Have I made my point?